Hello everybody, I am Dr. Chennakeshwa. Today I am going to discuss design of shafts and keys. It is unit 3 of your machine design course. Let's start with the content of the course. In this chapter we are going to study about fundamental concepts of shafts. Then we are going to design the equations to find diameter of the solid shaft as well as hollow shaft and we are going to solve some problems on design of shafts. Here in this chapter we are going to we are going to study about the design concepts of keys and we will solve some problems on keys. So at the end of the chapter we are going to learn about effect of a keyway. In this session, we are going to concentrate on fundamental concepts of shafts like types of shaft, materials for shaft, properties of shaft material, standard sizes of transmission shaft, manufacturing of shafts, stresses in shafts, maximum permissible working stresses for transmission shaft. So let's start with the expected chapter outcome. So at the end of the chapter, students are able to design 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 of shaft subjected to bending and twisting moments and able to analyze the types of stresses induced under various loadings. Let's start with the design of shaft shafts. First, we are going to learn about what is shaft. As we know, shaft is a rotating machine element which is used to transmit power from one place to another place. Il nodi nivo generator mathe turbine setup na na utor si diwe. E generator mathe turbine setup ali we have connected a shaft between turbine and a generator. And this is turbine meant to transfer power and it is going to generate the power and here it is going to generate the power and it is going to transfer the power to the uh, generator. And for doing that, we, we have connected a, a shaft with the help of two couplings A and B. So here we have to have a, a shaft in such a way that it has to be able to transmit or withstand the torque transmitted by the a turbine. So here the shaft may be cylindrical in shape or sometimes it may be a, a square shape or in case of a crankshaft, you may have a cross-shaped sections also. Likewise, we, we may have the solid shaft as well as a hollow shafts also. So if it is a hollow shaft, we will have two diameter, one is inside diameter and outside diameter. Usually we are going to find out the outside diameter of a shaft and inside diameter we are going to find out by using the equation k is equal to di by d naught and the k value usually we are going to assume it. Shaft is used for transmission of torque and bending moment. It means that torque is subjected to twisting moment and bending moment. So it is subjected to twisting moment because it is meant to transfer power from one shaft, one uh, device to another device. And it is subjected to bending moment because the weight of the gears or a pulleys they tends to bend the shaft or sometimes it may be because of the belt tensions or because of the, the, ro the rotational forces of a, a gears there will be a bending of shaft. So we have to design a shaft in such a way that it should withstand the twisting moment and a bending moment. And the various uh, members of pulleys, gears are mounted on the shaft by using a, a key. As I told, the pulleys or gears are mounted on the shaft by means of a keys or splines. So here what we are going to do is we are going to have a continuous keyway cut on the shaft in order to mount the pulleys and gears. And in between the uh, shaft and a pulley or a gear, we are going to insert a key. And this will avoid the relative motion in between these two and works as a rigid member. And this can be achieved by using the splined shaft also. In the splined shaft, we will have a continuous grooves. We will have a continuous axial straight grooves 
and uh, we will have a corresponding recess on the hub portion. So this will give you an extra freedom to move the hub actually on the shaft. So you will not go over the middle. First case, you will have a keyway cut. Uh, now milling process use mark on the keyway cut. This keyway is the first case. The shaft is the first case. The gear is the first case. So now we have a first case. Now we have a first case. This is the first case. You have a motion to transfer. You have to use the relative motions. अधेड़ तरह निव कोड़ा निवो स्प्लाइंस कोड़ा यूज़ मार बो दो स्प्लाइंस अलग है गंदरे वंद किंतु जास्ती कीवे ही रहते ये सर्कम्फरेंस मेले कीवे गड़ो तुम्बा ही रहते अधेड़ तरह हब पोर्शन ले पुल्ली आगेर बो दो इला गेर आगेर बो दो हब पोर्शन लो कोड़ा निम्गे कीवे से रहते ये वेरुड़ कोड़ा मेट � Next is types of shafts. These are the types of shafts available in the market. So they are plane transmission, stepped shaft, machine tool spindle, railway rotating axle, non-rotating truck axle and crankshaft. Plane, plane transmission and the normal shaft is all the applications ko, general purpose applications ko use and this is the keyway is the Next one is stepped shaft. So in this shaft we will have different diameters. In some portions we may have a higher diameter. In some portion we may have a lower diameter. It is not covered. It is very very diameter. Very very sections. Next one is machine tool spindle. So in machine tool spindle, half of the shaft will be inside a machine and another, another half of the machine will be extended out for connecting. इल नोड को बोल नहीं वो इली इस तुदा शाफ्ट ली अर्धा पोषण निम्न के अलमोस्ट अर्धा पोषण निम्न के मशीन वाला कड़े रहता है इन अर्धा पोषण खोर कड़े रहता है ये खोर कड़े ये रो मशीन पोषण ना ना वो कपलिंग सब वो बेरे आवाज़ वो मीन से ली कनेक्ट मार कौन दो ना वो पावर ट्रांसमिट मारती � so, so these railway rotating axles are carrying both twisting moment as well as bending moments. Railway wagon the entire weight chain is the end cell is spring through our it matter that is so it bending moment no carry matter that but the torque na koda it will transfer matter that is that is the non-rotating truck axle it will be it is the front axle cell use matter that is railway sorry train bus it will be bus girl mini bus cell but the lorry girl it will be axles use matter that is front axles and usually they are also known as dead axles and they are not going to rotate only they are going to take up the bending moment only the load of the vehicle it is going to carry and it won't rotate so that's why normally it is having a different cross section not always a solid circular one it may have a i section or it may have a square section or sometimes it may have a tubular sections also. So non-rotating truck axle bandhu, if you can dead axle and the purpose bandhu, bending moment carry maada da ashti aage ratta hai, idhu nidhu rotate aage alla, adhi kye idhna dead axle and the lho kari thara. And next when it comes to the, when it comes to the crankshaft, that is the last one and it, you may see that it is a cross shaped one. Normally the shafts are having a cylindrical shape but it is a cross shaped and it is an integral part of an engine. It is an integral part of an engine. So this is the engine that is used in the engine. All automobiles, all the automobiles are IC engines. That is all the crankshaft that is used in the engine. According to your syllabus, you have two types of classification of shaft. One is transmission shaft and the another one is machine shaft. So this is a simple classification. When it comes to the transmission shaft, here the shaft is used to transmit from one device to another device. In this case, you can easily notice the here the the torque transmission can be carried out. Transmission torque transmission is carried out from motor to the uh, driven machine by using a, a solid shaft and it is connected by using a two couplings 
On the other hand, when it comes to the machine shaft, machine shaft here the shaft is an integral part of a machine. Here you can easily notice some part of the uh, shaft is inside the machine and the some part is extended out. Through to this extended part, we are going to connect the another shaft or a, another device by using a, a coupling. So these are, these two are the very important kinds of uh, shafts. If you note, you know, in the syllabus, we have two types of shafts. One is the transmission shaft and the machine shaft. In the transmission shaft, we have two devices, which is the motor and the other device. We have two couplings to use. In the transmission shaft, you can remove the shaft as and when you wish. But when it comes to the machine shaft, we are not going to transfer the shaft as and when you wish. But when it comes to the machine shop, we are not going to transfer, the, we are not going to dismantle, the, it is a bit difficult to dismantle the uh, spindle from the machine shop. This is the machine shop shall use model shop, this is spindle and this is the transmission shop. Now we are going to discuss materials for shop. So usually mild steel is the material used to manufacture a shaft because because of its availability and the cost but sometimes if you require a more strength then we will go for a nickel nickel chromium or chromium vanadium steel the material used for a ordinary shaft is a carbon steel of grades 40 c8 45 c8 50 c4 and 50 c12 here you can easily notice mild steel will have a shear strength of 41 Newton per millimeter square if you have the um, keyway. If it is not having a keyway then it can be considered up to 56 Newton per millimeter square. If you require a strength more, more than that then we will go for the high strength material like nickel or nickel chromium or chromium vanadium steel. So this is for the normal cases. But sometimes you may have a, a composite shafts also, like composite shafts like uh, carbon material composites or it may be a fiber reinforced plastic composites can be used to manufacture or fabricate a, a shaft. Next is manufacturing of shaft. So shafts are manufactured by using two processes. One is by using a hot rolling and the second one by using a cold rolling. So different between these two is, so when it comes to the hot rolling, the temperature or the operating temperature will be more than recrystallization temperature of the material. But when it comes to the cold rolling, it will be below the recrystallization temperature. So among these two process, the cold rolling is preferred because the cold rolling will have will have a the good surface finish properties and it can be done very economically that's why the cold rolling process will be used but if you want to cut a keyway in a, a shaft then hot rolling process process are preferred because the cold rolling process will have some residual stresses and these residual stresses will have more stress concentration and the chances of failure will be way, chances of failure will be more if you cut a, a keyway so that's why the cold roll cold rolling will be used to uh, use it for the non keyway shafts and normally after doing a hot rolling or a cold rolling process we are going to finish to size by using a, a turning operation by using a, a lathe. So you will note that you can use shaft manufacture and use hot rolling process or cold rolling process. You can use the process of the shaft and use the process of the shaft. You can use the shaft to be precise to use the 50mm shaft to be 55mm and 55mm to be finished. You can use the shaft to be a turning operation. You can also use the shaft to be a grinding operation. So as I told, we will have two kinds of shafts. One is a shaft with a keyway and shaft without a keyway. So if you want to, if you want to cut a keyway, then we are going to use a hot rolled shafts. So if you don't want to cut a keyway, then we will have a cold rolled shafts. And as I told, the shafts are having a larger diameter shaft and usually it will be turned. If it is used, if you are using a larger diameter shaft, then we are going to 
turn these shafts to size by using a, a turning operation or sometimes it will be used grinding operation is also used to turn it uh, sorry finish it and when it comes to the properties of shaft shaft material so the shaft material must have high strength good machinability low knot sensitivity factor good heat treatment properties and high wear resistant properties so ee tara property galu material irle beko mild steel ge idella property il irodrinda navu idanna maximum use martivi high strength bekadaga matra navu nickel nickel chromium chromium vanadium steel na use martivi illa anta helidre navu mild steel na matra use martivi mild steel bandre high strength andre 41 newton per millimeter astu strength irutte kive with kive idre without kive idre 56 newton per millimeter varigu strength irutte ಗುಡ್ ಮಷಿನೆಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಇಟ್ ಯೂಶಲಿ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಶಾಫ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕೀವೆ ಕಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕಾಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ತುಂಬಾ ಹಾರ್ಡ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ಸ್ ಆದ್ರೆ ಕೀವೆ ಕಟ್ ಮಾಡೋದ್ ಕಷ್ಟ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಮಿಷಿನೆಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಕಷ್ಟ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಪ್ರಿಫರ್ ದಿ ಮೈಲ್ಡ್ ಸ್ಟೀಲ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಈಸಿ ಟು ಕಟ್ ಎ ಕೀವೆ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಎ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎ ಫ್ರೀಡಮ್ ಟು ಮಷಿನ್ ಇಟ್ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವು ಮೈಲ್ಡ್ ಸ್ಟೀಲ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಅಂಡ್ ವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಟು ದಿ ಲಾ ನಾ ಲೋ ನಾಟ್ ಸೆನ್ಸಿಟಿವಿಟಿ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಯೂಶಲಿ ನಾವು ಶಾಫ್ಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕೀವೆ ಕಟ್ ಮಾಡೋದ್ರಿಂದ ನಾಚಸ್ ಬಂದೇ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ನಿಮ್ಗ್ ಗೊತ್ತಿದೆ ನಾಚಸ್ ಬಂದಿದೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಸಂಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಫೇಲ್ಯೂರ್ ಆಗೋ ಚಾನ್ಸಸ್ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಹೇಗಿರ್ಬೇಕಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ನಾಚ್ ಸೆನ್ಸಿಟಿವಿಟಿ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಏನಿದೆ ಅದು ಕಡಿಮೆ ಇರಬೇಕು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಸಂಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ಏನಿದೆ ಅದು ಕಡಿಮೆ ಇರಬೇಕು ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ವೇ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎ ದ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಶುಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎ ಗುಡ್ ಹೀಟ್ ಟ್ರೀಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟೀಸ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನಾವು ಈ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ನ ಹೀಟ್ ಟ್ರೀಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಮಾಡೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಶಾಫ್ಟ್ ನ ಹೀಟ್ ಟ್ರೀಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಮಾಡೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಇದು ಈಸಿ ಆಗಿ ಹೀಟ್ ಟ್ರೀಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಮಾಡೋ ಹಂಗ ಇರ್ಬೇಕು ಇನ್ ದ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ ವೇ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎ ಹೈ ವೇರ್ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟೀಸ್ ಸೊ ಆಸ್ ಐ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೌಂಟಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಓವರ್ ಎ ಶಾಫ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಬೇರಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ವೇರ್ ಇನ್ ಟೇರ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಶಾಫ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ನಾಟ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ದಿಸ್ ಶಾಫ್ಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎ ಗುಡ್ ವೇರ್ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟೀಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ next is standard sizes of the transmission shafts so stand when it comes to the standard sizes of the transmission shaft they are available in different sizes so from 25 to 60 mm it is having a steps of 5 mm from 60 mm to 110 mm it is having a step of 10 mm so 110 mm to 140 mm it is having a step of 15 mm likewise from 140 mm to 500 mm it is having a step of 20 mm so these are the available diameter of a, a shafts but when it comes to the length of the shaft they are available in 5 m 6 m and 7 m lengths and the 7 m lengths are it is limited to 7 m so if you want to have a more length shaft then we have to join the two shafts by using a, a coupling it is limited to 7 meter because because of the tra- transmission restrictions so it is bit difficult to transmit the 7 meter shaft it means 7 meter anta helidre nimge almost 21 feet barutte 21 feet na lorry sali transfer maadabodu adikinta jaasti aagta hodre nimge lorry sali transfer maadad kashta agutte and it is expensive also that's why the length of the shaft is limited to 7 meters only ಇದೆಲ್ಲ ಇದೆಲ್ಲ ಏನು ಡಯಾಮೀಟರ್ಸ್ ಇದೆ ಅದೆಲ್ಲ ನಿಮಗೆ ಡಿಸೈನ್ ಡೇಟಾ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಬುಕ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಪೇಜ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಟೇಬಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಸಿಕ್ಕುತ್ತೆ ನೀವು ಇನ್ನು ನೆನ್ಪಿಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋ ಅವಶ್ಯಕತೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ಈ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ಸ್ ನ ನೆನ್ಪಿಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಡೇಟಾ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಬುಕ್ ಹೇಗಿದ್ರು ನೀವು ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಕ್ಯಾರಿ ಮಾಡೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಇದು ನಿಮಗೆ ಸಿಕ್ಕೇ ಸಿಗುತ್ತೆ ಈ ಡೇಟಾ ಡೀಟೇಲ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಸಿಕ್ಕುತ್ತೆ ನೌ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಲರ್ನ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಪರ್ಮಿಸಬಲ್ ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಸಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಮಿಷನ್ ಶಾಫ್ಟ್ so in the shaft we will have two kinds one is shaft with keeve and shaft without keeve usually for a shaft with keeve we will
whereas when it comes to the shaft width keyway we are going to consider only 83 newton per millimeter square under bending similarly when it comes to the simple torsion and the the shaft width without allowance for keyway then we will have a 55 newton per millimeter square as a shear strength and it is going to reduce to 41 newton per millimeter square if you cut a, a keyway so this you have to keep in mind this is for the mild steel similarly if the shaft is having a combined bending and as well as torsion in such cases we are going to consider the consider the 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 minimum of these two so minimum of these two is 55 newton per 55 newton per millimeter square for a shaft without keyway and 41 newton per millimeter square for shaft with keyway so that's why if it is a combined action if it is subject shaft is subjected to both bending as well as torsion in such cases we will we will consider the 55 and 41 newton per millimeter square as the stresses allowable stresses and again so this table is available in your design data handbook page number 57 table number 3.5b idu neevu nenpidkobeku anta illa adu nemdu ig baruthe nimge yakan thumba problem solve madodrinda neevu nenpal idkotira idanna nenpilla anta helidre 55 page number 57 na refer maadi adralli table 3.5b alli ee data sella kottidare so at the end of this session i am going to summarize so we have learned that the definition of shaft as we know the shaft is a rotating machine element and it is used to transfer power from one place to another place and we have studied the types of shafts like machine shaft we have studied and we have studied the transmission shaft and we have studied the application of these shafts also and we have studied the the properties of materials like properties like high strength then the low notch sensitivity so those things we have studied and the standard available transmission shafts are also we have uh, noticed so like uh, so it is available in your design data handbook also you have to know where the where it is available and all and uh, how we can manufacture the shaft i have explained how the cold rolling and hot rolling process are used to manufacture a, a shaft and at the end of this session i have uh, explained what is the uh, allowable stresses or the maximum permissible stresses for the transmission shaft thank you now we will i will ask you some uh, questions on uh, design of shaft that is session 1 i am going to ask some mcqs and you have to answer it first mcq is a dash is a rotating machine element which is used to transmit power from one place to another place and options are shafts spindle axle all of this please give your answer right answer is all of this because all these three shafts spindle so spindle means it is a machine shaft it is an integral part of a any machine and axle all of you know in automobiles shaft is known as axles it may be a front axle or it may be a rear axle usually the rear axles are subjected to both twisting moment as well as as well as bending moments but you front axles are subjected to only bending bending moments they carry loads all of this because all these three are considered as shaft we uh, the right answer is all of this second mcq is pulley and gears are mounted on the shaft by using your options are pins couplings keys clutches please give your answer right answer is a keys so as i discussed in the session 1 so pulleys and gears are the members which are used to transmit the power from one shaft to another shaft so in order to avoid the relative motion between pulley or gear or shaft so we, we are going to have a connection and by using by using keys we are going to connect 
ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಕಪ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಪಿನ್ಸ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಕ್ಲಚಸ್ ಅಂತ ನಿಮಗೆ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿರೋದು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಪಿನ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಪಿನ್ಸ್ ನ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಲ್ಲ ಕಪ್ಲಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ನ ನಾವು ಶಾಫ್ಟ್ ಇಂದ ಶಾಫ್ಟ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಕನೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಕ್ಲಚಸ್ ನ ಕೂಡ ನಾವು ಲೈಕ್ ಆಟೋಮೊಬೈಲ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕ್ಲಚಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಫ್ಲೈ ವೀಲ್ ಇಂದ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಶಾಫ್ಟ್ ಗೆ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಮಿಟ್ ಮಾಡಕ್ಕೆ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಆದ್ರೆ ಪುಲೀಸ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಗೇರ್ಸ್ ಗೆ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡೋದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವು ಕನೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡೋದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವು ಶಾಫ್ಟ್ ನೇ ಶಾಫ್ಟ್ ನ ಶಾಫ್ಟ್ ನ ಪುಲೀಸ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಗೇರ್ಸ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಕೀಸ್ ನ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಎಂ ಸಿ ಕ್ಯೂ ಇಸ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಕಾಮನ್ಲಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಶಾಫ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಈಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಮೈಲ್ಡ್ ಸ್ಟೀಲ್ ಕ್ಯಾಸ್ಟ್ ಐರನ್ ರಾಟ್ ಐರನ್ ಎನಿ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಸೆಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ರೈಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೈಲ್ಡ್ ಸ್ಟೀಲ್ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡ್ಕೋಬಹುದು ಮೈಲ್ಡ್ ಸ್ಟೀಲ್ ಕ್ಯಾಸ್ಟ್ ಐರನ್ ರಾಟ್ ಐರನ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಎನಿ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅಂತ ಆನ್ಸರ್ಸ್ ಇದೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಕ್ಯಾಸ್ಟ್ ಐರನ್ ರಾಟ್ ಐರನ್ ನ ನಾವು ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಲ್ಲ ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಂತ್ ಇರಲ್ಲ ಮತ್ತೆ ಇದು ಬ್ರಿಟಲ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ಸ್ ಅದೇ ಮೈಲ್ ಸ್ಟೀಲ್ ಬಂದು ಇದು ಡಕ್ಟೈಲ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಯೂಸ್ ದಿ ಮೈಲ್ಡ್ ಸ್ಟೀಲ್ ಆಸ್ ದಿ ಶಾಫ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಸೊ ರೈಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೈಲ್ಡ್ ಸ್ಟೀಲ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಎಂ ಸಿ ಕ್ಯೂ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಪರ್ಮಿಸಬಲ್ ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಶೇರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮೈಲ್ಡ್ ಸ್ಟೀಲ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಮಿಷನ್ ಶಾಫ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಕೀವೆ ಆನ್ಸರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಒನ್ ನ್ಯೂಟನ್ ಪರ್ ಎಂ ಎಂ ಸ್ಕ್ವಾರ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ನ್ಯೂಟನ್ ಪರ್ ಎಂ ಎಂ ಸ್ಕ್ವಾರ್ ಒನ್ ಟೆನ್ ನ್ಯೂಟನ್ ಪರ್ ಎಂ ಎಂ ಸ್ಕ್ವಾರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಏಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ನ್ಯೂಟನ್ ಪರ್ ಎಂ ಎಂ ಸ್ಕ್ವಾರ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಗಿವ್ ಯುವರ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಸೊ ರೈಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಈಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಒನ್ ನ್ಯೂಟನ್ ಪರ್ ಮಿಲಿಮೀಟರ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವಾರ್ ಸೊ ನಾನು ಅವಾಗಲೇ ಹೇಳಿದ ಹಾಗೆ ಶಾಫ್ಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕೀವೆ ಕಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಅದ್ರ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಂತ್ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಆಗ್ಬಿಡುತ್ತೆ ಅದರಲ್ಲೂ ಶೇರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಂತ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಒನ್ ನ್ಯೂಟನ್ ಪರ್ ಮಿಲಿಮೀಟರ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವಾರ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಇದು ವಿತ್ ಕೀವೆಗೆ ವಿತೌಟ್ ಕೀವೆಗೆ ಆದ್ರೆ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ನ್ಯೂಟನ್ ಪರ್ ಮಿಲಿಮೀಟರ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವಾರ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಇವೆರಡು ಕೂಡ ಶೇರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ಅದೇ ತರ ಇದೆರಡು ಬೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ನಾನು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಕೇಳಿರೋ ಶೇರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ಆಗಿರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಮೈಲ್ ಸ್ಟೀಲ್ಗೆ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಒನ್ ನ್ಯೂಟನ್ ಪರ್ ಮಿಲಿಮೀಟರ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವಾರ್ ಏನಿದೆ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ರೈಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಎಂ ಸಿ ಕ್ಯೂ ಇಸ್ ಬ್ರಿಟಲ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಪ್ರಿಫರ್ಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಮಿಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಶಾಫ್ಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಹೈ ಶೇರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಂತ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಲೋ ಶೇರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಂತ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಹೈ ಬೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಂತ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಗಿವ್ ಯುವರ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ the right answer is they have low shear strength so as you know the brittle materials have a low shear strength for example if you take a cast iron they will have a shear strength of uh, 20 less than 20 newton per millimeter square so that's why the right answer is they have low shear strength next mcq is Length of the shaft is limited to, answers are 25 meter, 100 meters, 1 meter, 7 meters. Please give your answer. Right answer is 7 meters. As I discussed, so 7 meter, the length of the shaft is limited to 7 meter. because of the transmission transportation restrictions next mcq is the material used for the shaft should have this property high strength low knot sensitivity good machining and d all of this please give your answer The right answer is all of this because high strength, low knot sensitivity, good machining
right answer is none of this because crankshaft axle and spindles are considered as a shaft next mcq is shaft will not have this shape cylindrical square spherical cross shaped please give your answer right answer is spherical because cylindrical square and a cross shaped uh, uh, shafts are normally used only spherical shape is not used next mcq is this is the last mcq shafts are designed to carry twisting moment bending moment both twisting moment and bending moment and all of this please give your answer the right answer is all of this because shafts are shafts are shafts are designed on the basis of twisting moment they are based uh, bending moment and both uh, that is combined twisting and bending moment cases are considered for designing thank you